Hey, hi everyone. This is Bakapa Chincholikar. Welcome back to Test Automation Tool Selenium. In this video session, we will talk about how to get an XPath and the CSS selector value from the Chrome browser. If you have not installed a uh, FirePath or a Firebug uh, in your Firefox browser, that is not an issue. By using Chrome browser, you can uh, get an XPath and the CSS selector value. So, let us uh, begin with the today's video session first what i will do is i'll get an xpath and css selector from the uh, firepath in a firefox browser and we'll compare same value in chrome browser so first what i'll do is i have opened this particular web website that is uh, seleniumhq.org this is my chrome browser uh, sorry this is my firefox browser so just uh, I'll inspect any one of this element here. Let me take this uh, project tab here. Just inspect in FirePath. Here you got the CSS value. Just select the XPath and inspect one more ele one more time same element, and you'll get the XPath here. You copy this XPath and you'll compare it in the Chrome browser. So again, I'll select here uh, CSS and I'll get the CSS value of that particular uh, web element. So just I'll copy this CSS value and same we will compare in the, sorry, we will compare it in the Chrome browser. So I'll navigate to the uh, Chrome browser. That's all I have in this uh, Firefox browser. So let me navigate to the Chrome browser. Actually, this is my Chrome browser. Now, uh, once you go to this help section, you will get to know this is a Chrome browser. So, I'll copy the same URL and that I'll copy it here and I'll just enter. And I got uh, to the same page. So, let me uh, explain you how to get an XPath and a CSS selected from the Chrome browser. So uh, for the same element, I will get an XPath and the CSS selector value from the Chrome browser here. Just right click on that particular web element and click click on inspect. And here you will find whenever you uh, hold your mouse on that particular HTML details, it is highlighting that particular projects tab. So right click on that HTML details and go to the copy and under that you will be seeing so many options here one option you will get copy selector if you click on that particular uh, copy selector that copies the value of that css selector value and if you click on this copy xpath that copies that gives the xpath value and uh, what i'll do is just i'll copy xpath here and I'll paste it here and I'll take CSS value of that particular web element in the same way and I'll paste it here only one small change is Chrome browser that gives you the XPath in double quotes whatever the value for that particular ID attribute that gives in the double quotes just you have to replace with it in the sorry you have to replace that double quotes with the single quotes then you compare uh, this uh, chrome browser xpath value and the firepath expel sorry xpath value both look similar and even you can compare this uh, css value here and this uh, css value from the chrome browser both looks the same so by using this you can perform any operation on the that elements and you no, no need of installing any add-ons to the chrome browser and that's all i have in this video session and if you face any difficulties please let me know and you can drop an email to my email id and if you find any difficulties you can add it in the comment section of this below of this video and please do the 
do subscribe and like and share this video and thanks for watching